Hi, my name is Maria Senes. And I'm Tiffany Gerard. And we're here from the University of Missouri Extension to ask for $70,234 for our Healthy Plate program. Let's briefly introduce the program. It will be located in the city of Columbia, Missouri, and consists of different activities that include 10 educational workshops, a social marketing campaign, and five community outreach activities. The target audience of our program is low-income Missourians, and our goal is to increase fruit and vegetable consumption by one serving in low-income residents after one year. The University of Missouri is a land-grant university, meaning that it is obligated to share and apply its research in Missouri communities. University of Missouri Extensions was founded over 100 years ago through this mandate in 1914. Since then, we have been a vital source of information for over 1 million Missourians concerning topics like personal finance, agriculture, horticulture, health, and nutrition. In regards to nutrition and health, our well-established resources include our Can-Do Recipe Series and Cooking Matters Program, which have helped to reduce barriers associated with eating healthily for low-income individuals. So why are we asking for funding for our program? Here is the problem. The U.S. Department of Agriculture recommends eating five or more servings of fruit and vegetable per day. However, nationally, low-income Americans consume less fruits and vegetables than higher-income individuals. In the state of Missouri, almost 90% of low-income individuals with incomes of 15000 or below eat less than five recommended servings per day. The median fruit intake in Missouri is one per day, and the median vegetable intake is 1.5 per day. In 2013, 70% of the population in Boone County was food insecure. So for low-income families, buying quality and fresh products can present significant economic barriers. They end up eating fast food or other processed alternatives that are high in fat, salts, and sugars. Individuals with unhealthy diets suffer from the highest rates of obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, and many other chronic diseases. Therefore, to increase access to fresh, healthy food, our proposal is to create an educational and social marketing campaign, the Healthy Plate Program, to increase fruit and vegetables consumption among low-income Columbia residents through fruit and vegetable vouchers and nutrition education. This project will target 100 low-income participants and will include three main parts, social marketing campaign, educational workshops, and community outreach. The social marketing campaign will include a variety of health communication strategies that aim to create awareness and increase knowledge about the need to eat more fruits and vegetables. It will consist of the design of a user-friendly website for the program that will include information about nutrition, recipes, cooking, and help with financial barriers to eating healthy. The second part of this campaign includes advertisement production. We will create advertisement pieces to disseminate in local newspapers, radios, and TV programs. We will also create promotional tools like flyers and brochures highlighting the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables, along with educational information about the recommended intake of fruits and vegetables and what exactly is considered a serving. We will also create a social media campaign using Twitter and the hashtag #HealthyPlate. We will post daily messages with tips about nutrition, cooking, servings, recipes, and other information that will be linked to the program's website. We will organize 10 educational workshops that include weekly classes covering a variety of topics such as nutrition basics, recipes and cookings, and strategies for overcoming financial barriers to eating healthy. The goal of the educational workshops is to increase knowledge and awareness about healthy eating and motivate participants to increase fruit and vegetable consumption. Graduate students from the Department of Nutrition and Exercise Physiology from the University of Missouri will teach workshops that will be also held in community centers. Each participant of the program will receive an extra benefit of $50 per month, which will be added to their SNAP or WIC benefits to encourage them to buy fresh fruits and vegetables at local farmer markets. Finally, we will organize five promotional events in strategic locations in low-income neighbors in Colombia, where 
we are going to distribute cookbooks and the educational resources uh, that we mentioned before. These locations include GERBs, supermarkets, Walmarts, the Activity and Recreation Center, the Centro Latino de Salud, and Wilcrest Community Center. Benchmark surveys will be used to assess nutrition, knowledge, and attitudes in participants throughout the program. Additionally, interviews will be used for qualitative data collection as well. Block food frequency questionnaires, also known as FFQs, will be used to measure fruit and vegetable intake before and after the program to measure progress. Anthropometric data, including height, weight, and body composition. Lastly, biological data will be used to measure blood pressure, blood glucose, cholesterol, HDL, LDL, and triglycerides to see improvements in biomarkers associated with health. The Healthy Plate program requires many resources, including funding for the vouchers, printing materials for the sign-up sheets, office space for staff, and many more. These resources are important in order to carry out the activities that are vital to the program's success, including staff training, collaborating with community organizations, and conducting our various educational workshops. Our activities influence our outputs, short-term outcomes, intermediate outcomes, and long-term outcomes that we seek. The personnel-related expenses are key to the Healthy Plate Program's implementation and success, and is also dependent upon program management, data collection, and analysis provided by staff. Our direct expenses describe further out-of-pocket expenses and include facility rentals, program advertisement, program surveys, the block FFQ, block FFQ analysis, and the curriculum for the project. Therefore, total expenses are $81,156. Here we have more in-kind resources, including qualitative quantitative data analysis and data encryption software bringing the total in-kind support to $10,922. In-kind support describes resources that are already provided by the University of Missouri. Therefore, these expenses are subtracted from the total expenses. This $10,922 is then subtracted from the total expenses to bring the total cost for the Healthy Plate program to $70,234. The success of this program requires pulling together a diverse group of collaborators. We will partner with local organizations such as Boone County Public Health Department and the Missouri Department of Social Services. These organizations will be in charge of adding the program's voucher for $50 to the weekend SNAP participants. We will also partner with the Columbia Farmers Market, which will give us a space to promote the Healthy Plate program. We are also planning to partner with the City of Columbia that will promote the program through newsletter and website, and the Columbia Parks and Recreation will promote the program in the Activity and Recreation Center, where we will be able to reach more participants. Another potential partner will be the Department of Nutrition and Exercise Phys Physiology from the University of Missouri. Graduate students will provide the educational workshops for our program. Also, we will partner with the Health Communication Research Center that will help us to shape, communicate, and deliver the campaign messages to our target audience. And finally, we are planning to engage the University of Missouri Cambio Center for translating all the materials into Spanish, and the Cambio will also help us to reach the Hispanic Latino community in Colombia. To ensure the program's sustainability, we will create a graduate research assistant position who will be in charge of overseeing the program annually. This person will coordinate the existing partnerships and will be in charge of organizing the community outreach activities. The educational workshops will be taught by graduate students from the Department of Nutrition and Exercise Physiology. And finally, extension counts with labs for data analysis and lab technicians who will, will continue with collecting the data for the program. Funding for the vouchers will be necessary. This concludes our presentation and we thank you for the opportunity to present in front of you.
We hope that you will invest in the Healthy Plate program.